It's time to shake things up again. What's up guys, this is the Galaxy's Greatest here on YouTube. We need to talk about the future of the WWE and where it needs to go. I have two words for ya. Brand extension. It's been a while since we've had the brand extension. When it first started in 2002, things were looking pretty good, especially for SmackDown. And times changed and eventually the brand extension died off and now we're left with three hour Raws which feel like chores and the Smackdowns that don't feel important at all. So we need to change that. And the best way to change that is with the brand extension. And here are a few reasons why. Starting with number one, Superstar health. It is no secret all these superstars have been getting injured left and right. Just to name a few. John Cena, Seth Rollins, Neville, uh, Luke Harper just got injured, Daniel Bryan of course being forced to retire. All these injuries happening left and right in the WWE. And one of the things that could help it would be less scheduling. If you just take to keep the superstars, Raw superstars on Raw, SmackDown superstars on SmackDown, it's going to be, you know, a little less work dates. And on top of that, not just physical health, but mental health, all the travel, it just stresses out people in, in general. If you cut all that out, you'll see less injuries and better performances. Reason number two, it's going to create more stars right now. The WWE is pretty much Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, who's only a part-timer, Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, who the WWE just doesn't want to give him the ball, I guess, Roman Reigns, Cesaro's injured, John Cena, who's injured, Seth Rock injured. Roman Reigns, God! Roman Reigns, it's, it's what it really feels like right now. Hey Kevin Owens, we don't have anything for you. Here's a championship. That's all it feels like right now. I mean, it's not just the Intercontinental Championship. Believe me, it's a lot more. But there's so many guys that should be getting over that aren't right now because they don't feel important with the current scheduling. But if you split the rosters, it's going to give a lot of superstars more chances to shine. And we need that right now. Let's move on to number three before I go on a rant. It's going to boost ratings, especially for SmackDown. SmackDown, I, I'm not sure what their ratings are right now, but I'm pretty sure they've gone down since the Ruthless Aggression era. But if you make SmackDown feel important again by making it its own brand, bing, 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 they're going to go up. And as for Raw, Raw feels ugh, it's like a a chore, just same old, same old. But if you just have exclusive roster, cut it down to two hours. Please cut Raw down to two hours. The ratings, bing, bing, back up. In a reason number four, it's going to help bring in new talent. I'm talking specifically with the draft. My idea is that you can also draft with the draft if you... <laughs> I'm talking stupid. With the draft, there's going to be superstars being picked. But you know what? Why exclude just the superstars on the main roster? You got NXT stars. I mean, maybe some of them that are ready to be called up can go into the draft. That's how they get noticed. And then you could start your, all your vignettes and everything. And it all makes sense. And I'm not just talking NXT. I'm talking free agents. Free agents that are signed that are ready to go on the main roster. Main example, Bobby Roode just left TNA. He, he's like 39 years old. He doesn't, you can, he has a solid five, six, maybe even seven years. And you know what? That's all you need. Put him on a main roster, sign him immediately, and you can put him in a draft. And same goes for Eric Young, too, who also left TNA. And reason number five, it's going to create more opportunities for the WWE Network. With the draft, it could go two ways. You could either do what you normally do and have it on Raw, or you could make it its own network exclusive. Gets more views for the network, 
or heck, even have the supplemental draft on the network as well. Something like that. And with split rosters, maybe if you want to do like big shows for just a specific roster, because I know they're going to do pay-per-views with multi-brand, you can have like a just a, a certain roster, just have them have their own like little show with importance, but like have treat it as a pay-per-view maybe. I don't know, they're just some of my ideas, but those are five, and there's a lot more reasons why the brand extension must come back. I am begging the WWE to just change something up, because we need something right now, because it's getting pretty bad. But that's all the time I have right now, and as for an actual draft, I'll save that for later. This has been the Galaxy's Greatest. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you agree with me, disagree with me, have any more ideas, you could drop them in the comment section below. And you got to subscribe. I need it, baby. Subscribe today to the Galaxy's Greatest. Tune in for more content. Wrestling, football, stupid stuff. I do it all.